Good day guys and welcome to another Blender Buzz tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how we set up hair, di um, hair dynamics and also add um, collision for the mesh so the hair doesn't penetrate and just sag through the mesh, okay? Because a lot of people kind of have this problem where they, they enable hair dynamics but when they run a simulation the hair kind of just all sags through and just kind of pulls through the mesh. And you can see with this simulation here, um, it's much better, okay? Now, obviously, this does this kind of looks this way because the hair count is quite low in the display. But if I increase that, you can see here that that actually looks quite nice. And we, we have very minimum penetration of the mesh. So this is what we're going to be covering today. Is we started by opening up a new scene in Blender. And like always, I'm going to just delete the default things in the scene. And I'm going to make this cycles render, okay? Because we're going to be working inside the cycles engine. And the object I'm going to be using for my um, demonstration is just the Suzanne monkey head. Okay, I'm going to go to my modifiers and just add a subdivision surface. And this time I'm going to apply the subdivision surface. And that's just going to give me some more vertices to work with. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, apply it over here. I, I enabled smooth shading. Okay, so now that I've created my monkey head, I've given it a subdivision of one and just applied it. I've also enabled my smooth shading. I can now go and add the particle system. So I'm going to go click on my particle system here. I'm going to add new. And right now it's set to emitter. We want it to be on hair. So I'm going to enable hair. And I'm also going to enable advanced. Okay. Now this is a mess. The hair is everywhere. I only want the hair to be in a certain place, which is the scalp. An easy way to do that is just to go to our edit, our edit mode with our object selected. And I'm just going to press C to get my C select tool. And I'm just going to select the scalp area, okay? Like so. And then just unselect the areas that you don't want, like that. Okay. Okay. I'm just essentially selecting the scalp. And depending on what you're using, if you're using the monkey head, you can do it how I'm doing it. If you have your own character, you can go ahead and do it the way you feel is appropriate. Um, okay, that's good. That's all I'm gonna go with now for my scalp. And I'm gonna to go to my vertex settings here. And under vertex groups, I'm gonna enable a new group. I'm gonna create a new group by pressing the little plus. I'm gonna call it hair. And with those um, scalp vertices selected, I'm gonna go assign, okay? Now, how do we add this to our system? All we do is go back to our particles tab. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we're going to see something called um, vertex groups. And we want to go to one called density and we're going to click on it. And here we can see our um, group called hair. And if I enable that, you can see now it's applying the hair where we want it to be on the scalp. Okay. So I'm going to also go and just at the top, decrease my hair length like so. And I'm also going to go down to my children setting and enable simple. And I'm just going to decrease my display to five, like so. Okay. I'm also going to go to my dis um, display up here and I'm going to make the steps um, five. Okay. Now that I've created my hair, I just want to comb it into a general position. So I'm going to go to my particle edit. I'm going to go comb. I'm going to press F to grow my brush size and I'm just going to comb my monkey's hair. Okay. Kind of like a female kind of hairstyle, just kind of hanging. Um, and depending on your character, if you've got a character that, you know, with kinky hair, the hair might um, be stiffer. So it really depends on what you're trying to achieve, but I'm just going to go with a more kind of a loose kind of hairstyle. Now, one thing to keep in mind with the hair stimulation, the hair dynamics is that if you've got a hair strands going through the mesh, it's going to confuse the, the um, dynamics system and it's kind of, it's not going to just magically pop out of the mesh. So it's going to get stuck in the mesh. So to, to not have that happen, I'm going to go and make sure that I paint these so that they do not penetrate. And I'm also going to enable my children over here so I can actually see the children particles. Now I can see here that I have unnecessary hairs here on the side. So I'm going to go and get my cut tool and I'm just going to cut away these particles here. Okay. And I'm going to use this tool very carefully 
And all I'm doing essentially is just cleaning up around the ears here, cutting away the hair okay, that I don't want. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Just cut away using the cut tool around the ears. Okay, because I don't want any of these hair particles in the around the ears to penetrate. Just like that. And I'm going to get, grab the comb. I'm just going to comb that all out. Like so. Cool. There we have our monkey's hair created. So I'm going to go back to my object mode. And now for the fun part is to actually set up the hair dynamics. And many of you have probably seen my other video um, of hair dynamics. But in this case, I'm just going to quickly set up my dynamics again. And then I'll show you some of the things we're going to do differently to enable hair collision. So I'm going to go enable hair dynamics. I'm going to drop, open up this drop down. And the main things we want to look at here are the mass and the stiffness. Now, we want to be realistic. In real life, one strand of hair does not weigh three kilograms, okay? Oh, I believe 300 grams in this case. Okay, it weighs much less than that. So I'm going to go 0.001. Now, I know hair weighs less than that, but that's a realistic number compared to the other number, and it works good for this simulation. I'm also going to go to my stiffness, and I'm going to make this 0.1, okay? And once again, depending on what kind of character you have um, and how loose you want the hair to look like, you probably want to um, play around with that stiffness value. Now, one thing I'm going to do quickly is just go back into my particle edit. As I can see, there are still some um, hair particles that are stuck in the eyes here. So I'm going to get the cut tool. And I don't want these hair particles here. So I'm just going to edit. Just get rid of them. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, sorry about that. I'm going to go back. And so what have I done here? I've made 0 0.001 on the mass. I've made this 0.1 in the stiffness. And the other thing we're going to look at, forgetting, just don't worry about any of this stuff here, is the quality. Okay, right now the quality is set to 5. Later on we can set that higher, and that's also going to create a better, more accurate simulation. But for now, the next thing we want to do is go to our physics tab. We're going to enable what we call the collision here. And this is pretty simple. The only thing we have to worry about here is are these two things here, the outer and the inner. So I'm going to make the top 0.5 and I'm going to make the bottom 0.5 as well. <clears throat> okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to go back to my hair settings. And we can now pretty much run the simulation. Now I want to animate the head so it kind of does an action so we can kind of see the dynamics at play. So making sure I'm on frame 1, I'm just going to go I location rotation then I'm going to go to frame 60 and then go G and move the head up to here and kind of rotate it forward a bit then I'm going to go I location rotation and I'm going to make my end frame 75 okay so it's only 75 frames long okay so if I go now alt a we're going to see our simulation run okay so we can see that there is no penetration well there's a little bit of penetration uh, around the ear but it, for the most part, most of the particles are behaving themselves and not penetrating the mesh or just falling through like you see. Um, a lot of, lot of people get that happening. They create hair, they add dynamics, and the hair kind of just strains through the mesh. Okay, So we can see here that looks quite good. But we're still getting hair penetrating the mesh. And that is a problem. And that's something that a lot of people struggle with with hair um, collision is there's still p particles penetrating the mesh. Now, one thing we can do to decrease that, but, and I do emphasize, we can't completely get rid of it, unfortunately, okay? There's still going to be a few particles that are going to penetrate. Unfortunately, Blender is not very good when it comes to particles. And it is getting better, but right now we're still going to have a few problems with um, particles penetrating the mesh. But you can greatly reduce that by going to your quality steps and increasing this number. Now, obviously, increasing the quality is good, but it's also going to make um, for longer um, simulation time. So if I go press Alt-A, it's now going to do it with higher quality steps. Okay, so you can see here it's now running. And depending on your computer, um, this could take a while or it can be, it can be quick. So mine's taking, mine's taking a bit. It might take a minute for this to run. And you can see now it's, it's doing this at a much higher quality. So I might just have to let this finish and then I'll come back. 
Okay, so there we have it. It's kind of run the simulation now. And you can see it looks quite a lot better. Okay, it's a more accurate simulation um, than the one before, but we're still getting that penetration there. And I've kind of tried everything. I've looked at a lot of um, tutorials and documentation. And the one thing I've kind of noticed on the Blender community is a lot of people still um, say that it doesn't matter what they do, they still get uh, some degree of penetration. And I suppose at the moment, there's not too much we can do about it. And even with some of my own characters that I've created, there's always that little bit of hair penetrating. But usually what I find is that those hairs, you don't really see it that well um, penetrating. For the most part, most of the hairs are going to behave themselves. And you're going to have a few thin strands um, penetrating the mesh. But overall, you can see here, most of the hair is, when we run the simulation, is not penetrating the mesh. At the top here, if you have a look here, as this comes up, okay, as the monkey head comes up, the hair is kind of, it's pulling back quite a lot, but it's not going into the mesh too much, okay? Whereas if we didn't have the collision, it would kind of, it would kind of pull through the mesh. So that's the whole point of setting up the hair collision. Okay, so that's not too bad. And the more you play around, the more you play around, um, what's going on? The more you play around with these settings, <laughs> Blender's kind of acting up here. The more you play around with these settings here, the um, kind of different results you'll kind of start getting. So it's really up to you to kind of ex um, experiment I will be honest, like I said before, Blender's, um, Blender's hair dynamics isn't quite there. There's a lot of bugs and issues in the system. And so there's not really a whole lot I can do to, um, um, to fix this myself. So I hope you've liked this tutorial, that it's been useful. And um, if yours doesn't glitch like mine is doing now, congratulations. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you learned something. And um, I'll see you guys next time.